Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb, and today in this tutorial video, we'll learn how we can convert Modbus TCP protocol into IEC 104 protocol. IEC 104 protocol is very common in water network industry and uh, power industry. So sometimes you have some devices that you want to integrate with the um, command center like remote SCADA and those devices only support the Modbus TCP protocol or Modbus RT protocol so you want to integrate with SCADA so uh, you can use SCADA uh, gateway SCADA data gateway SDG to convert that Modbus TCP, TCP protocol into IEC 104 protocol in this case our RTU will work as a Modbus uh, TCP server so and SCADA data gateway work as a Modbus TCP client it will fetch data from the RTU or PLC or DCS system and the other end our SCADA data gateway work as a IC 104 server and our SCADA system will work as a IC 104 client so let's see how we can configure SCADA data gateway in, in this uh, use case so we'll open SCADA data gateway application So enter username and password. So now our first step will configure uh, Modbus protocol in SCADA data gateway. So we'll configure uh, SCADA data gateway as a Modbus. Uh, TCP master so right click here and click at TCP channel master and come here and select the protocol for our case MM M, uh, double MB mode bus master and just put the name mode bus master M1 the channel name press OK and just device address just select one I will also keep it default and here I'm going to configure holding register click OK and I will add here one more data type here I will add this coil also ok now come here so we'll come here in L1 and then Modbus action mask 0 click here so here you have to uh, by default it will uh, do not read the option will select you have to select the read all for the coil and for the holding register both of them you have to select the read all and after that here by default it will come the zero value you have to put uh, whatever polling frequency you want to put it like how much time after how much time the it will pull the data from the server so I will I put just 10 seconds press ok ok now if you click here holding register right now we don't have any of the uh, data object so I will right click here add master data object so I will put it 0 and here I will put just sum of register and that's it ok press ok and 
I will add one more tab to R4003. Press OK. Similar where manual coil. I'll add one master data object. Here I will support it. Suppose M. I'll put it M1. Press OK. I will add one more tag. M2 press OK so now uh, SCADA data gateway side mode bus uh, master configuration is completed so now we run our mode bus uh, slave device or mode bus server uh, application for your case might be it will the any of the hardware but for my case, for the testing program, I'm putting one of the uh, simulator, mode sim simulator. So, we, we are going to use mode sim as a mode bus uh, TCP slave or server file new. So, for my case, holding register, I will put just 10. And I will add one more. Suppose 10, but in this case, I am using the coil function one and I will put it one starting from one and connect, connect. So I will put some random values here. Just put true, true, so as you can see above, the first is on and second also on and if you come here in the holding register area, so here you can see my data is perfectly updating I will just put it some auto simulated value so as you can see data is uh, updating whatever the data is inside the uh, mode bus uh, slave device same data is in the mode bus master so it means uh, from mode bus slave device and mode bus uh, master device communicating with each other and our data is coming inside inside the SCADA data gateway application so that is our first step so first step is successfully completed now we'll move toward the second step so our second step will configure IEC 104 as a server so for that come here gateway root node right click and TCP channel out station slave device click it here and then select the protocol for our case right now uh, is it will work as a uh, server 104 and here you can put IEC IEC 104 server 1 press ok just keep other uh, settings as default ok here also you just keep it these all setting default press ok
So here most important parameter AST address, you just have to note down your AST address is 3. So same we will update in our uh, IC104 client application. So just other setting I will keep it default, I will not modify, I will not change anything. Just press OK. So now uh, here the data type I will select it for my case is uh, measured value so I will select this measured value so I will select it measured value select and press OK And I will add, I will add one more data type also. That for for my digital values. So I will use this T1 single point information object. Press OK. So that's it. Now we'll go toward the mapping. Uh, the IC104 side configuration is completed. Now our next step is to mapping between Modbus uh, protocol and IC104 protocol. So we'll do point to point mapping. For that you have to come here for example this coil and then you have to select your uh, tag and just left click hold and drag and drop here in the single point information object T1 and just select your IC104 address for the single point I will just for the test paper I will just keep it the same value and I will not also modify any of the this by default value so press OK so as you can see here it's showing the successful message uh, what process actually we did it we, uh, we did the mapping between master data object and the slave data object so master data object is a Modbus protocol and slave data object is IC104 tags. So click at close. So similar manners will go for the second tag. This first tag we did it. Now we'll move toward the second tag and select the coil and after that uh, select that tag and drag and drop over the T1 single point information object and just press OK. Here also we successfully able to do the mapping. Press close. So if we will come here you can see these two tag we successfully able to map. Now, now go to the holding register holding register also just select tag and drop over the measured value here also select the same tag press ok here also the mapping between master data object and slave data object is successfully completed click close and now go in the second tag drag and drop it here and press ok That's it for the SCADA data gateway side configuration. We'll test. Now uh, we'll open the IC104 client application the, and then we'll check the data is updating inside the uh, client application or SCADA system or not. Um, before move toward uh, this IC104 client application, I will do some small changes. I'll delete this tag linking. And we'll tag uh, map it again. Because uh, here also we are using one and two uh, address and here also you, are, you uh, we are using the same. So we should not use the same. So 
I will just put it suppose 10 click close from here again and the second object also will do point to point mapping click OK here and close and now we'll see the result in the IC104 master software so my case uh, I'm using uh, the Exxon uh, test in the same localhost so that's why I put the localhost IP address and ASTL address also 3 so we'll run it So as you can see now, uh, the data is perfectly updating. Our point 10 is on and point 11 is off for the boolean. And similar manner, uh, I will open the here. This is my okay. So here is our Modbus TCP data. Suppose if I'm getting in the register 2 data also and here also I'm getting 2 value 2 4 uh, 2 and here I'm also getting 2 4 2 value so the holding register also value is perfectly updating and here also you can see the value is whatever the value here in these two registers 1 1 and here also both is a 1 1 so whatever value we are getting inside the mode bus uh, uh, slave same is update in IEC 104 master software that's it for today I will summarize what we did we our, our purpose was to convert mode bus TCP protocol in IEC 104 protocol and IEC 104 protocol uh, then what step we did it we make SCADA gateway as a IC uh, SCADA gateway as a IC uh, for Modbus master and uh, that Modbus master is fetching data from the controller and then same time we configure SCADA data gateway at a IC 104 server and now this Exxon IC 104 uh, client application is fetching data from the uh, SCADA get data gateway so that's it how we can convert Modbus TCP protocol in the IEC 104 protocol thanks for watching this video if you want to learn some more uh, uh, knowledge and uh, you want to see some more knowledgeable video please subscribe my channel and like this video